And if you click on this video, then you most likely have been seeing the 12 week year kind of go a little bit viral. I know I've been seeing it on TikTok and Instagram. And while I am a person who's really, really into like self-help, self-development, anything productivity, anything that's gonna get me closer to the life that I deserve and the life that I know is out there waiting for me, I'm gonna listen to it, I'm gonna read about it, I'm gonna put in the work to figure it out. So I've been doing my own research on the 12 week year and I'm gonna share with you guys why I feel like and why I'm gonna give it a chance and why this is gonna be the tool to actually get us to unlock in our full potential, get into our goals in a quicker manner and closer to our dream life. So I do have some notes on my phone and my iPad because when I say your girl has put in a lot of time into researching this method, I have. But let's start off with the fact that 2023, I feel like was a really weird year for everybody. It had a lot of high highs, but a lot of really low lows. And now that I look back on my vision board for last year, my journal for last year, I realized that at the beginning of the year, I was on track. That first quarter, January, February, March, knocking the ball out the park. Like everything was getting done. I was really, really on track, being really, really productive. And then once the season started to like warm up, I started to have lots of fun. And I mean, lots of it. And I think I fell off to the point where around my birthday, which is December, I didn't even know what goals I have for the year. And I feel like that's where a lot of people go wrong with like these new year's resolutions and these new things. We make these goals that are for the year but they're not really that actionable because they're for the entire year and we kind of don't write down exactly where to start in these actions that we need to put in place every single day that's going to make the mindset shift for us to get to our goal and that's what i really got from the 12 week year like that's like the biggest thing is that the mindset shift has to happen but before the mindset shift happens your actions are going to allow your mindset to change so let's start there. When it comes to the way that the mind works and the brain works, the podcast and a little bit of the books that I have read have given me some insight on when we make these smaller goals, especially as people who procrastinate and we start to get them done, then we can work towards the bigger goals and it's easier to get those done. But if you give yourself a bunch of small wins, you're gonna be more motivated to get the big wins out of the way. And it's gonna happen in a lot, a lot naturally than it would if you were just like, you know what, I'm gonna lose 50 pounds in one month. Let's Let's just start small and let's just start with one pound a week that's how the brain works and then you get excited when you get on the scale and it drops down to one pound so when it comes to that mindset shift you have to make the shift to where ultimately before we get into the nitty-gritty of writing everything down and what we're gonna do daily you have to have a clear vision of what you want and what you see for yourself within one year like have a very very clear vision and it needs to be so clear to where a fifth grader can understand what you're saying become very very clear and very very detailed as detailed as possible write these things down what is your vision for yourself what is your vision for the year of 2024 how does it look to you get very 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 specific and I mean as specific as you can see for me I'll give an example by the end of 2024 my fitness needs to be in a completely different stage than it is now I need to have way more muscle I need to have visible abs but I still need to keep my glutes these are very clear and actionable in like things that I can measure by the end of 2024 now when we take by the end of 2024 which is 12 months and we put it into 12 weeks we shorten the time which means we have to act on it fast in our mind it presents a sense of urgency like we have to start taking action now 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 because we only have 12 weeks to get these things down so whatever your vision is for you write it down get as clear as possible and make sure that it's something that you can measure don't just put lose weight don't just put build muscle how many pounds how do you want to look how do you want your physique to physically look write it down make it clear make it plain and make it simple so that we can measure it at the end of these 12 weeks. The 12 week year mentions multiple systems and like these actions and these plans that are able to keep you on track for a longer period of time because in the beginning of the year, everyone knows like the beginning of the year and like when the year is like winding down, we have this really, really sense of I can do anything that I put my mind to. I'm feeling really, really powerful. I'm feeling like superwoman. It happens to the best of us. But after January, it literally goes away for most people. Like afterwards, you feel like it's to hell with my goals like it's already too late I already messed up that excitement goes away when you compress your goals into 12 weeks you get to get that excitement over and over and over again and this part stood out to me the most because I'm a person who I work best when I'm excited over my goals I work best when I'm getting things done every single day and I have an end goal and I can go back and look on everything that I did to get me there I don't know if that's like very analytical or makes me like a numbers person 
but towards December and January, that excitement, we're gonna keep with us for every 12 weeks, which is basically four times a year, we're gonna be restarting this 12 week year. Even if you don't reach your goals by the end of that 12 weeks, do not give up, get back on the horse, keep applying pressure and keep putting on the work to get there. Because in the back of my head, I know that I still have a full year, but because it's broken down into 12 weeks, you're getting a lot more done in such a little bit amount of time. When you have this mindset of, I have all year to lose weight, I have all year to get it done. You go day after day after day, put off that gym session you go day after day after day of cleaning up your diet you realize it's October you still haven't gotten a gym you still haven't cleaned up your diet and you're like I'm just gonna start next year no if we only have 12 weeks to get these things done realistically we're gonna be trying to put in the work every single day every single day counts and that's what the 12 week year teaches you and pushes you to do is put in maximum amount of effort every single day and it's already been a few days for me and I can already see how it's gonna get me there a lot quicker because every single day that I get up and I'm trying I don't want to waste no more time I know that I need to get my workout done even if it's just a walk I know that I, I have no time to have a cheat day like it's only 12 weeks I'm good we stand on business this year okay no time for all the extra stuff we've had last year for that we've had the year before that all you got is 12 weeks so you're gonna put in your effort to get there now the way that we're gonna do this is once you have all your goals your big goals right now you're gonna choose three of them that you can take the most action of, action on all I did for you was pull out the important information out of this book you can still go read it if you want to or listen to it on audible but these are just the things that you can start now and take action on now because that's basically what I read it for I knew about it from YouTube and TikTok videos but I wanted to read it for myself just so that I can get the pieces to take action on and I'm sharing it with you now so right now a list of goals are your major goals write it down I don't have a notion simply for you I don't have any of that digital stuff because I believe that when you write things down your brain process it differently and when you're writing these things down every single day it changes things I'm telling you I am a witness to this when I tell you in 2022 not 2023 but 2022 every single day in my journal I was writing down my goals for the day my intention for the day and it made the the most change that was the most money I had ever made in that year I seen the most progress within my business my focus I was head on straight because every time I would wake up my non-negotiable was to write down everything that I needed to do in that day that was gonna get me to my goal so after you write down all your goals choose three that you can start taking action on today so for me I'm gonna share mine I have it in my notebook build muscle and get visible apps grow my YouTube channel to 10,000 subscribers and then grow my business to $10,000 in revenue a month these are measurable and you already have the time aspect because it's a 12 week year so you choose your three now after you choose your three goals you're gonna write down what steps you can take to get here sooner you're not gonna be able to do every single thing every single day but just write down a list of things so for example if I want to build muscle and get visible abs in 12 weeks I know exactly what I need to do you know exactly what you need to do whether you realize it or not we know what we need to do to lose weight we just don't do it because we're not putting in the effort and we're not being intentional about it so for example Example for me my goal is to build muscle and get visible abs so for me I know that I need to have protein with every single meal you're gonna get more specific than that I need to have 30 grams of protein with every single meal even more specific than that I need to have veggies with every single meal so that I feel fuller throughout the day and it doesn't cause me to go binge eat on all these sugary foods so that's your first step right now all these things now there's other things that I need to also do like get in my steps a day make sure that I'm doing my cardio make sure that I'm hitting the gym at least four times a week lifting weights if you want to get even more clear and more specific I need to be lifting heavy I need to be going up in weight every single week not only that I know that I do not need to be consuming alcohol so that's a non-negotiable for me and then I have a really time a hard time struggling with sugary drinks but that's gonna be off limits during this 12 weeks get very specific write down these things now the way that I did it that I'm gonna show you in my journal is that I sectioned it off into my bigger goal at the top so it's gonna be goal number one Build muscle, get visible abs. Action steps in this column. You're gonna have your action steps and you're gonna write down all the action steps that you're gonna take. Now we're gonna break it down week by week. So for week one, we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. At the end of each week, the way that we're gonna hold ourselves accountable is by keeping score of everything we did. Do not get discouraged if you don't get 100%, okay? The goal is 100%, but don't get discouraged. Things happen, life happens. That's just the way that life works. 
sports. The thing is, we're being more accountable every day by keeping score than we are if we're just mindlessly going out throughout the day hoping that we eat a healthy meal, hoping that we do these things. No, we have it in our mind that I need to go in my notebook at the end of every day and make sure I check these things off daily. And that's what's gonna get me there. So for me so far today, I have not had a high protein breakfast or lunch and it's literally already 435. So I know what my score is gonna be for today. So the way that I'm doing mine is you either get one, which is basically 100% or you get nothing, you get zero. Did I do my cardio for today? Yes. So on Wednesday, I will put one. For breakfast, high protein breakfast, that will be zero. For dinner, that will be zero. Well, that will be one because I know that I'm going to get a high protein breakfast, okay? At the end of every week, we're going to add up our percentage and see what did we score for this week. So we've taken this whole year and we've combined it into just one little week, which makes it way more clear and way more actionable and a lot more like easier for us to take action on because just worry about today. Don't worry about four weeks from now. Don't worry about 10 weeks from now. Don't worry about your summer body. Just worry about today, the things that you can do today to get you closer to your goal. That is why I feel like this is gonna work so good for me. So now that you have the specifics and you have what exactly actions you can take to get you to your goal, we know that there are so many other things that we can do like keto, like all these things. Those things are gonna start coming naturally the more and more and more and more that you build these things. But you have your clear vision now, clear vision of where you see yourself and you have your three goals that you can start taking action on now. Now you have your actions that you can do to get you closer to these things and then you're gonna score yourself every single day. So you need to make a column for every single day of the week and you need to score yourself on whatever actions you said you were gonna take. Do not lie to yourself. That's not gonna do, that's not gonna give you any benefit. Be completely honest for your, with yourself. And you know you did not drink your two liters of water for the day. Do not score a one and you know that you didn't. For me, that has been very, very hard. So I have not been getting a one for the past three days. Today, I might be on track with a one because I'm already on my second Stanley. So for me, my goal is not a gallon of water. That's not realistic for me. I know that that's not realistic for me. For me, I divide my body weight by two and then turn ounces into liters for that number. So for me, it's two, li two liters of water a day. If I don't drink my two liters of water, I don't score myself for that day. I'll try again tomorrow. I will try again the next day. The thing with this score is every single night before you go to bed, you need to make sure that you're scoring yourself and every single week, you need to create a new page for your week in your journal. I suggest writing things now. I'm not, I don't, I don't have nothing against digitally. I love my iPad and I write things down in my iPad, but when it comes to my goals and like manifestation and prayers and all this, I love to write letters to myself, writing letters to God. I feel like when you see it on paper, it's been proven that your brain literally processes information that is written down differently and it helps you memorize it. The thing is, we're trying to get it to our subconscious mind that we are this new person and we're taking these new steps. And once you become this new person, your attitude is going to change, your mindset is going to change, and day by day by day, it gets very easier. And one day you're going to up and realize like, wow, I prayed for this moment. I prayed to be here. Like last year, the year before that, going into the new year, I literally realized I was who I had on my vision board and it's a mind-blowing experience especially when you're able to look back at your notebooks and see that by us focusing on these smaller goals every single week it makes it a lot more manageable to where for week one we finish that one we go on to week two week three week four when you look up it's gonna be the end of January now this is the first quarter and usually a few years ago I would work into quarters but even working even working quarterly for me was just too big because obviously last year the first quarter was fine, knocked it out the park. But what happened second, third, and fourth quarter? And then fourth quarter, we get this back, this sense of like urgency and things done. But when we don't have these things that we're doing daily, it just does not work for some reason. You're shaped by your daily habits. And then if you look at yourself now, ask yourself, is your daily habits today, if you continue to do them every single day, by the end of the year, are you gonna be closer to or further than your goals? For me, I can say yes. And I can say that wholeheartedly. And that's what's gonna keep you motivated because I know that if I'm going to the gym every single day, I'm hitting my weight goal, I'm hitting my protein goal, I'm hitting my step goal, 12 months from now, I better have them visible abs. I better have a lot more muscle and I better look like I've been in the gym every single day of the year or at least 80% of the time because you're literally putting in the work. And when you're doing it day by day, it's so much more manageable. And it's like you have bite-sized pizza, bite-sized pieces than just trying to swallow up the whole thing. I'm so sorry if you start hearing rain. It's starting to rain, like LA is crazy. But let's move on to the next section of this 12-week year and why 
we're going to do it together and why it's gonna work for us. So while we are scoring ourselves every single week, every single Sunday, we are starting fresh. We are on a new page and we have our three big goals. We have our action steps and we have our score. You will need to be scoring yourself. Every Sunday, this needs to be non-negotiable. Now, by the end of the 12 weeks, if you reach your goal, then okay, you start a new goal. But for me, I know that it's probably gonna take a little bit longer for me to get my invisible abs and a lot more muscles. So that's probably gonna be on there at least for two quarters. But I'm still gonna have my same actionable steps. And once these things get easier, like once going to the gym for me is not that hard and I do it automatically, I get up in the morning, I finish my workout, I'm, you, then you can start adding things. But don't start with 20 things that you need to get done throughout the day, especially if you're a full-time student you work full-time start small start with just going on a 30 minute walk every day so every day you can say I did my 30 minute walk so another one of my goals this year is YouTube I need to be at 100k subscribers by the end of this year because I'm putting that work in but to make sure that I get to this goal and the action steps that I can take every single day so first of all the goal would be something like this my 12 week year goal number two reach 10,000 subscribers I don't need to write in time because it's all already a 12 week year so what action steps am I gonna take to um, every day what steps can I take to get to 10,000 subscribers right the first one could be researching content which means I'm on YouTube I'm looking for videos I'm looking for video ideas I'm looking for inspiration that's an, that's one another one will be filming a video am I able to film a video every single day probably not but I'm gonna put that on there just so that I have something that I can reach every single day maybe three out of the seven days I film a video. I just made more progress than I made last year only filming one video a week. So you're gonna aim, aim, aim high. Dream, dream, dream as big as you can because even if you fall short, you're a lot closer in 12 weeks than you are in 12 months, okay? So the next step, um, I could film a video every single day. I could make really, really good thumbnails every single day. Am I gonna make a thumbnail every day without a video every day? No but I can research a thumbnail, research title ideas, create really good title. That's five things that I could do in a day that is gonna get me closer to 10,000 subscribers, okay? Sharing my YouTube videos on social media, on Instagram, on other platforms, that, those are six things. Now today, what have I done? I filmed a YouTube video, I've researched other topics, I've came up with title ideas, I've planned videos for next month. That is four out of two things, four, <laughs> four out of six things that I've done in a day that's gonna get me closer to 10,000 subscribers, okay? So every single day when you wake up, you're looking at this weekly goal list, but today we're on Wednesday. So all we're focused on today is researching more videos, trying to film a video, trying to film a good title, time, trying to make a good thumbnail. We're breaking it down into day by day by day. You are literally shaped by your daily habits. Depending on your daily habits, that's going to that's gonna tell you where you're going to be five years from now. If you're waking up every day at 2 p.m., not getting anything done, having your lunch, and then going back to sleep, not doing anything productive with yourself, where do you think you're going to be in, ten, in five years? Like, the proof is literally in the pudding. I just feel like this is an easier and more manageable to, way to do it for us, and especially measurable way. But you have to also make sure that you're keeping yourself accountable, which means every single week you are scoring yourself now in the 12 week year it does say to get a group and tell people about your goals that is the only thing that i do not want to mention if you're a person who that works for you you can do that but personally for me it doesn't work like that for me and it may just be the capricorn in me but i'm a very very like uh i don't even want to say secretive i just like to keep things done until it's done and then put it out there but to summarize everything and so that you can have clear actionable goals because i really want you to do this and by the way i've already started filming my first week every single week i will be uploading how my 12 week year is going at the end of every week so please look forward to that if you need someone to keep you accountable and you don't want to tell your friends I can keep you accountable because I'm gonna be showing you what I'm doing every single day. Start, we're starting fresh, it's a new year, and I just feel like 2024, is she, she's not playing around. She's not here to play, okay? And neither am I. The first big one, I feel like a lot of people just jump into things, and this is why things don't happen. It's because you're not clear on how you want your life to look by the end of every year. You don't know your vision. And yes, we do our vision boards and stuff, but even when I see some people's vision boards and I'm helping them with them or I'm telling them like, you have to get more specific than that. Like on my vision board, I know my physique goal, I know my fitness goal, but on there, you can't just have this glamorized version of it. You have to have, okay, I know that I'm going to be sweating in the gym. I'm going to be putting in that work. So have that in your mind and write these things down. Exactly what you're going to do in the gym. Like have a clear vision of what it's going to take to get you to your goal so that when things happen and things arrive, 
arise in life and you feel like, dang, today I'm not able to do this. You already knew this was gonna happen. Are you gonna push through anyway and you're gonna get it done? Maybe you can't make it to the gym today, but you can, you have a jump rope at home, you can jump rope at home. Maybe you can't make it to get your weight lifted done, but you can walk your dog for 30 minutes. There are still certain things that we can do. And I feel like our brain, well, I know this, when you're able to check things off of a to-do list, you get a small little like high that you go on. And I know this for a fact, because being in school, I would prefer to get a packet every single day, finish that packet and turn it in, than to get it for the week and finish it for the week and turn it in on Friday. Because the high that you feel when you cross things off your to-do list is crazy and that's why this is gonna work every single day we have our to-do list if it's one thing you take from this video is that every single morning you're gonna write your to-do list and try to get as many things done as possible at the end of that week take everything that you did Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday and score yourself out of a hundred percent a hundred is great awesome good for you we're human so that's not 100% realistic but 80 is good 60 is good 50 is good and even 40 is good especially if you're a person who you can't stick to something and you're not the most disciplined or consistent person just keep putting in the effort do not give up and do not fall off the horse just because today you check nothing off your to-do list all you did was lay in bed we're human like today for me it was a very 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 emotional day I don't know why but my emotions were all over the place my mind was all over the place I wasn't able to get as many things done as I know that I could have and it's already going on five o'clock but tomorrow I'm gonna be better and keep that mind keep that mindset in your head but you have to have a clear vision of where you want your life to go and how you see it and you have to have these clear action steps that is gonna get you to each goal. I say start with three big goals to focus on for this 12 week year and write down at least four actions you can take for each goal. If your goal is to lose weight right now, for, if your goal is to lose 10 pounds within these um, 12 weeks, right now four steps you can take every day to reach that goal. If another goal of yours is to get all A's, write down four action steps you can take to get all A's. If you have another goal to get a thousand followers on Instagram, and write down four action steps you can take every single day to reach your thousand followers on Instagram. It has to be clear, it has to be concise, and it has to be something that you can measure at the end of this 12 weeks. Like I said, write it down. If you have an iPad and you prefer digital, digital, write it down. My thing with like the Notion templates and all these templates, I feel like we get them, we're super excited in the beginning, but then we just throw them to the side. And that's what I don't like about it. I feel like when you're writing it down, you're able to create your own template. Our mind works differently and different things work for different people. This is why I say write it in like a free write journal that you have. I'm inserting mine into this video. So hopefully that gives you like an example of what to do and how to write it and how you can do it. But holding us accountable, another way that we're doing that is because we don't have this notion template that we just fill in that's already pre-written for us. We're writing it for us. And if something starts to change, we can always change it up for the next week. So write it down, get you a journal that has some pages in it, some blank pages, and create your thing week by week, every single week, okay? I hope this video helps you because I'm super, super, super excited and I'm literally only in the first week, but I feel like having it condensed to 12 weeks and then having that even condensed to one week at a time and then one day at a time, it just, you're able to breathe more and just realize, okay, I'm doing fine. I did great for today. I'm on track with my goals. Like, I'm doing great. Like, you're doing great, honey. You're doing fine, okay? That is what I love about the 12 week year. Please let me know in the comments at least one of your 12 week year goals and I want to hold you accountable. I want you to put them in the comments. That way I can check back in with you 12 weeks from now and see, babe, how's it going with your um with your weight loss journey? Well, what's the update? What's tea? Okay, let me know and I will see you guys in the next video.